All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the bullet molds and the type of bullets I use with 58 caliber rifled muskets. Uh, and you guys are in luck. I know everybody likes Lee because their stuff is very reasonably priced. And you'll luck out because you can get all four different projectiles in a Lee mold at the reasonable price as compared you know, you can probably get three of these for what it costs for a line that makes the same bullet in an iron mold. The first one up is going to be, uh, this, this here is an exact copy of what was used by the U.S. military in the Civil War. Uh, mini bullet, diameter 575, weight 500 grain. And it says you should only use pure lead. This one here is an exact replica of what was used. We'll take a look at it. We'll take a look at the mold. And I've had these molds a while. These are older molds. Single cavity. Got your sprue plate. And then you see you have your little, for the hollow base, you have that plug in the bottom of the mold. Works very well. I made a few... Uh, bullets the other day here. Now Lee also makes another mini bullet, 578 diameter, 478 grains. It's a little bit different shape and the thing about this one is because the original design you really can't, they rate 60 grains of powder as the max, the thin skirt on that you have to use a lower charge so they kind of redesigned it and this bullet is shorter and has a thicker skirt and a smaller internal cavity. It's, uh, it's something that they came up with. It's not a uh, period correct uh, mold. And again, same setup here. And if you notice that plug is a different shape and smaller. It doesn't go in as deep into the bullet. Lee also knew that people um, shot in competitions. That, that's another thing. So they made another bullet, the R-E-A-L, the real bullet. Um, again, 58 caliber, the weight is 440 grains. And it says rifling is ingrained at loading. Okay, this is a stout solid bullet. And the weird thing about this bullet, it's kind of like a wide cutter. It, it, when you shoot at a target, it cuts a nice clean round hole in that heavy uh, target paper. So this is kind of used, I don't know if it's approved. See, I don't compete, I just shoot the guns. Uh, this here is different, and, and the way this bullet was advertised, the way it's designed with its uh, the, group, the bands are angled, that it, it goes down into the bore, and then when you fire it, the little bands will expand out and clean the rifling as you shoot it. So supposedly using this bullet, you're supposed to be able to get more shots off um, than normal. And this is just a plain mold. These are the old ones, you can tell from the mortises. And when we go out to test and fire these bullets, I also have round balls, which Lee does make a mold, but the only reason I got the round balls is I want to shoot it in the gun to show some of my subscribers that, that maybe don't cast bullets or can't get uh, the mini balls. Uh, this is off the shelf, so if you buy 58 caliber musket off the shelf, get Hornaday bullets, and use... Uh, 15,000 thick patch. So I will shoot these to compare to the others. But personally, I like the uh, mini bullets and the real bullet also. So I'll zoom in and we'll take a closer look at the bullets. Okay, here are the three bullets side by side. This bullet here is the exact copy of what was used in the Civil War. This is the mini bullet of the newer design, and this is the real bullet, the solid bullet. Now, 
you know, we all recognize, anybody in the Civil War recognizes the size and shape. I don't know if this is lit well enough for you to see that this cavity, this lip is pretty thin and this cavity goes in fairly deep. So like the weight of the bullet was this upper portion here. So when they decided to change this bullet, they made this skirt thicker. This cavity is not as deep as this one. Okay. And so they had to shorten the bullet. In other words, to make it so it would fly correctly. That's what they basically did is squish it down and make this part thicker and heavier. Um, the reason for that is, is you got to run about with this bullet here, realistically about 45 grains. Because if you do 60, this is so thin, and I, I remember, I can't find it, but in a book they showed a high speed picture of this bullet. When it gets out the barrel, it keeps expanding the skirt to where it flares way out and the bullet becomes unstable. So you have to use a more reduced charge. Where this, can use a bit more of a heavier charge and you know still have the mini ball effect of expanding the lower part and engaging the rifling even though this is a modern um, you know this is not an actual copy of a Civil War bullet this is a modern development or something so also more powder means more speed more range everything else so we'll compare those two side by side. I already know that from past experience that the actual one needs less powder. Now the Real bullet, this is nice. Um, this is the one that has these ridges that angle inward. And as you can see, it's a solid base. It's just a solid slug. And, you know, side by side comparison, it gets smaller because there's no hollow skirt. All right, and this bullet is quite accurate. It would be a good hunting bullet. And what it does is they all weigh almost the same. It's just the hollow cavity makes up for the overall length. All three of these bullets shoot very well in the replica muskets. I, I have never shot an original one or a real one um, to tell the difference. Okay, and also I have just round lead balls. I didn't bring them out here because it's just a round lead ball. It looks like a round lead ball, just a diameter. So as you can see, you got a whole bunch of different options if you cast. And I believe you might be able to purchase these. Uh, you can purchase mini balls and that from uh, maybe something like Track of the Wolf. And that. I don't know if they offer them or not because I've always made my own. But now you have a diverse line of projectiles that we can experiment with and, you know, more stuff to work with, more stuff to experiment with, uh, things to discuss and that. But that's the lineup. And that's why I kind of like the 58 uh, rifled musket. Um, you know, you got a lot of interesting things and variations you can work with and find it, you know, you like for different purposes and that. Uh, so that's another reason why I kind of like that type of gun or type of muzzle loading uh, gun. So there you go. And hopefully we'll get out to the range and I'll show you how all this stuff performs here uh, in a very short while.